Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. The elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahabla, Baki, Arshay, Asherala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson. Baharu Chakodash, Amaf, and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And um, the topic of this video, uh, it's just it's just going in. Let me see. I had uh, uh, the topic written down. Um, the hell we catch, we deserve, and don't forget we fucked up. Okay, so when we go through these different. Uh, Trials and tribulations, we're we're appointed onto these different things, man. We're not we're not blameless. All right, the Lord didn't send us to this earth to live this perfect ass life. All right, He sent us to be tried. All right, He sent us to go through the furnace. Okay, so the hell that we catch, as the scriptures say, think it not strange the fiery trial, which is to try you. Let's see if I can get that. This is the book of First Peter. Chapter 4 and verse 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. So when we catch hell, we can't act like we don't know what the fuck we catching this hell for, man. We're being tried. It says in the book of Sirach, the second chapter, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation. You jump down a couple verses, it says, For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So we have to go through that fire. We have to go to that fire in order to get our inheritance, in order to be accepted of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So when we catch hell, understand where it's coming from. Understand why we're going through it. And if we understand where it's coming from and why we're going through it, it makes the hell a lot easier. All right? So you're not, so you're not like, oh my gosh, why am I going in? Why am I going through this? Right? You understand that we're being purified. You understand that we have committed sins not only in this life, but also in our past lives. All right? And really, we're being punished less than our iniquities deserve. Okay, let's grab that precept. Uh, what is it? This is the book of Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 13. And after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass, and we've done evil deeds. In, again, not only in this life, but in our past lives. We fucked up. Okay? And Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai's judgment is perfect. Alright? The Lord's not going to punish a man. It's, it's, not, um, it's not right with the Lord. Is a roughly paraphrase in the scripture. It's not right with the Lord to punish a man who has done, who has done no wickedness. But we have all... It's roughly paraphrasing. I, I butchered it. Alright? But it, we, we've all fall, fallen short. Alright? We've all broken laws. And if you offend in one, you offend in them all. We have, we've all fucked up. Like like uh, one of the, the probably the subtitle the subtitle for this lesson. I don't want to put it in the uh, in the uh, on the YouTube because you know through the al algorithm. But we all fucked up. That's the su subtitle. We all fucked up. So when we catch hell, it's it's part of it is what us being purified, man. All right. It's it's it's, uh, it's us being in that furnace to get that dross off of us, and it's also paying for our past sins. All right. Paying for our fuck ups, okay? The 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 uh the Yahweh Shai, the only begotten son, he had to pay for his sins, okay? It says that in the book of Hebrews, that he paid for his sins first and then for the rest of the people. Alright, now of course we know that in uh uh in Yahweh Shai's lifetime, when he came on the earth two thousand year, years ago during the Roman Empire, he committed no sin. So what what sins is he is he paying for? He's paying for the sins of his past lives. Going back to King Solomon, all right. King Solomon is said that if, if if King Solomon would turn his heart from serving the Lord, roughly paraphrasing, that he would be beaten by the stripes of men. That didn't happen in the lifetime of King Solomon. So when King Solomon died, all right, and then was reincarnated back as Yahweh Shai, that's when that judgment caught up to him. So certain different things that we go through, different plagues or ailments that we have to deal with, it could go back to past lifetimes. Okay. So this is Ezra chapter 9, Ezra chapter 9 and verse 13. After all that is come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass, seeing that thou, our power, hast punished us less than our iniquities deserve and has given us such 
deliverance as this. So he punished us. We're being punished less than our uh, um, iniquities deserve, man. Because really, we're all worthy to be to be destroyed. All right. If we were to go by our works, if we were to go by our actions, we are all worthy uh, 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 to really catch a missile, man. All right. And let me read that precept. This is the book of Sirach, chapter eight. In verse 5, reproach not a man that turneth from sin, but remember that we are all worthy of punishment. All right, we are all worthy of, of, of the punishment that's to come upon this place. But because of the great mercy of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, all right, a, 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 through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, the Lord is allowing us to be punished less than what our iniquities deserve. Our iniquities deserve a missile, all right. But because, be, but because of the blood of Yahweh Shai, the mercy of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, we're being punished less. So we catch hell in this area. We catch hell in that, that area. All right. We deal with bodily ailments. Okay. So on and so forth. Whatever the hell you, whatever your trial is. Right. That's less than what we deserve. Okay. So let's go from there. I, I'll, I'll read more on this. This is 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Mashiach's suffering. So, see, uh, now, now I'm no stranger to, to, um, to sufferings, right? I'm no stranger. None of us are, right? I'm no, I, we're, we're, none of us is strangers. We, we catch hell, right? We, all of us catch hell. This, this is the condition of the battle, okay? So, after a while, you get numb to it, and and like the apostle Tahar said, you have to start learning how to love to suffer, because it's a part of being in this truth. A part of being in this truth is suffering. Let me jump up in the chapter. This is First Peter chapter four and verse one. For as much as, for for as much then as Mashiach Yahweh Shai have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. Arm yourself saying, likewise with the same mind. Yahweh Shai came in his flesh and he suffered. So we're in this flesh and what's, what are we? What's going to happen to us? We are also going to suffer, right? The servant is not greater than his Lord, all right? The servant is not greater than his master. So we're going to go through the same things, that uh, uh, the same type of sufferings, right? That Yahweh Shai, we're going to be tested in, in similar ways, okay? It says, Arm yourselves likewise with this same mind, for he that suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. He that suffered from the flesh ceased from sin. Okay, so when we start catching hell, that really elevates us to another level. All right? So then you start to, Paul said what? He said, I glory in my infirmities, man. All right? I glory in my infirmities. I'm catching hell here, there, this, that, and the third. All right? But... Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is giving me the strength to endure those dif different things and to still push this word to still remain faithful. So let's jump back down. This is 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse, thir uh, verse 13. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Mashiach Yahweh Shai's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be also, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Okay? So. As it says in the book of Romans, it says, "If you suffer with him, you shall be glorified with him." So let's so uh, let's continue to pray that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai gives us the strength to go through our trials and tribulations, through our sufferings, and uh, 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 and anything and, and through our affliction, and anything that we have to go through. In the book of Acts, the 14th chapter says, "Through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom." Okay, Where, it says, "He that the um, let me see if I can get it." This is 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 2 Timothy chapter 3 and 12. Yea, and all that will live godly in Mashiach Yahweh Shai shall suffer persecution. All, all that shall live godly in, in Yahweh Shai Mashiach shall suffer persecution. So us living uh, 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 the best, living godly and holy to the best that we can in this life. All right. What what's going to happen? We're going to suffer persecution. It's all written. We've been warned. All right. We've been told that this is not going to be some walk in the park. That this is not going to just be easy. All right. That we're going to go through things. That we're going to have to earn the kingdom through trials and tribulations, through suffering, through affliction, through going through that dangerous path. That's written in the book of Second Ezra, the seventh chapter. Give me one second. Salakia. Um, where was we at? <clears throat> Okay, so let's go from there to the book of Lamentations. Matter of fact, I was in Peter. 
I'll read another scripture in Peter. This is the book of First Peter, chapter 1. And verse 6, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, you're in heaviness through many full temptations. Now, as it says in the book of Hebrews, uh, no um, suffering for the present time. Let's read it. Oh, it's a lot here. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse... 11. Now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Okay, so the, at, at the moment when we're catching our hell, it, it's not joyous, it's grievous, but it's all for a cause. It's all for a reason. It's all for our betterment. Let's get another precept in the book of Romans. This is Romans chapter 8. And verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. To them who are called according to his purpose. All things work for good to them. Even though at the time it's grievous. Even though at the time it, it, it you don't you may not understand. Right? But the scriptures say that all things work for the good to them that love Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and if you truly know within yourself that you love Yahweh Barsham Yahweh Shai, and you show your love by your actions, then whatever that whatever we're going through is for our good, is for our betterment, is for our elevation, man. Just like we go back into that First Peter the fourth chapter, it says that he that suffered uh, uh, ceased from sin, so it, it's perfecting us. Okay, just like gold is tried in the fire, in order to get pure gold, you have to put it in that furnace. All right, and you have to turn that heat up in that furnace, okay, so that you can get the dross, all right, and you can get the waste off of that gold. So just like uh, uh, an acceptable man being uh, um, uh, tried in the uh, in the furnace, man, gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. So the uh, adversity that we go through is the furnace, all right. The adversity that we go through is purifying us, is getting the waste off of us, getting the dross off of us. All right, so it's, that's why it's important to go when we're going catching hell to look at it retrospect, to look at it, you know, uh, 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 in, in its proper perspective, man. So that way you're not walking around. Of course, it's hard. It's not joyous, but it's grievous, right? Of course, it's hard, but uh, 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 to to not walk around when you're catching heavy hell, to not to not walk around with your with your head hanging, okay? But if we understand why we're going through these different things and understand that there's a way out, that there's a way of escape, that the Lord is not just going to leave us in the furnace and melt us, that he's putting us in the furnace to take us out, right? Dust us off, okay? See, see, get some of that dross off, and then we go back in. It's a process, all right? The Lord just don't leave us in that, in, in that fire con uh, uh, constantly, man, all right? When you're purifying gold, you put it in, leave it in there for a little bit, take it out, wipe it down, all right? Get some of that dross off. See what see what other impurities that, that that stubborn impurity that won't get off of the gold. Put it back in for a little bit, right? Then take it back out. The scriptures say that the Lord won't put upon us more that we can bear. There's always a way of escape. So we just have to be patient in our tribulation, as it says in the book of Sirach, one of my favorite chapters, uh, 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 that that's gotten me through all type of trials and tribulations. Let me read a let me read a couple verses out of it. This is the book of Sirach, chapter two. This right here is the go-to for me, man. This this is uh, Sirach chapter 2 and verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in a time of trouble. Make not haste in a time of trouble. All right. Why? Let's continue to read on. Cleave on to him. Right. So when we're in these low moments, it actually is supposed to make us closer to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right. Cleave on to him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. So if we endure these trials and tribulations and these sufferings and these temptations and these afflictions that we go through, there's an increase at the end. Just like we read in Hebrews. It said, nevertheless, it yielded this peaceable fruit, okay, to them that are exercised thereby. So in the end, is there's an elevation, there's an uplifting. The Lord's not just gonna, just going to cast us down, all right, and not bring us back up, okay? It's a process, just like muscles. In order to get muscle, your muscles stronger, you have to first break them down and then give it the nutrients that it needs to build back up 
And when it builds back up, it's even more powerful. It's even more stronger. All right. It has more strength. Okay. Whatsoever. And it, it used that word, which are exercised thereby. Right. So this is the, our spirits is being exercised, man. Okay. It, it, it's being strengthened. All right. And how do you strengthen a muscle? By breaking it down and building it back up. It says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take, take cheerfully. All right. I Meaning take it with the take. Of course, like we read in Hebrews, it's not joyous. All right. So you're not going to be, yes, I'm catching some more hell. All right. You're going to, but you're going to take it. You're going to take it patiently. All right. You're going to take it with the right mentality that this is helping my mentality. This is building my spirit. This is increasing my faith. There's so many things that's in uh, 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 that's elevating through this little minor this little minor shit that I'm going through, all right. You know, just gotta look at it for what it is. Minor. It says the suffering for this present time is not worthy to be uh, uh, compared to the glory that we shall receive, man. So no no need to to get all fucked up over the shit that the the, the shit that we go through, man. And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. It says, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, wait for his mercy. And go not aside lest ye fall. All we got to do is wait for his mercy, man. Whatever, whatever situation that we find ourselves in, the Lord is going to get us out of that. As long as we trust in him. As long as we have faith in him. As long as we're calling upon him in truth and in sincerity. So, again, that whole chapter is, is, a, is a mighty chapter. So... Let's go back into 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 7. It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. We want to be found acceptable when Yahweh Shai comes. So we have to go through the fire. We have to go through the furnace of adversity. Whom having not seen ye love, and whom though now, Ye see, see him not, yet believing. And the Lord, that's heavy to the Lord. We don't see him, all right? We, we, we haven't seen him with our bodily eyes, but in spirit we believe. And that's, that, and that's pleasing to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. What we're doing, we're pleasing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. This whole world is displeasing to the Lord. He's angry with the wicked every day. And the whole world lieth in wickedness, okay? But us, we're trying our hardest to live a righteous life in the wicked world. On top of catching hell, on top of going through bullshit ass situation after bullshit ass, bullshit ass situation, adversity after adversity after, after adversity, we still continue to have faith and can still continue to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's pleasing in his eyes, man. Without faith, it is, it is impossible to please him. He that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. It says, it says, yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your soul. So we, the shit that we go through right now is nothing. There's many more evils that's going to come upon this earth. We're going to go through a lot of different more shit that's really going to try us and really going to test us to see if we gold and silver or to see if we wood, hay and stubble. All right. So that's how we have to look at the hell that we catch in this present moment. This ain't shit. I'm ready to go through. Like Paul said, I'm ready to be bound. All right, he said, I'm ready to, uh, what'd he say? What'd he say? He said, I'm ready uh, not only to be bound, but to be offered. Okay? For henceforth, there's a crown laid up for me. Right, this is uh, 2 Peter chapter 4 and verse 6. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. So this is what we have to do to get our crown. We have to fight a good fight. It's a fight for a reason, man. In a fight, hey, if you get into the, if it's raining, you're going to get wet. If you get into the shower, you're going to get wet. If you get into a fight, you're going to get hit. I don't, even Mayweather got hit. You know, of course, he's 44 years old, all right? And he made smart investments, like, like the nigga always says, all right? But even Mayweather, one of the greatest boxers, one of the greatest defensive boxers, even he got tagged with a little two-piece by that um, by the Edomite dude that he was fighting, man, uh, Logan Paul, all right, this past weekend, okay? So uh, in other fights, again, Mayweather is known as one of the best defensive boxers, to, to ever put on a, a pair of gloves. But he's been hit a, 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 a plenty of times, man. All right? He's uh, Shane Mosley put something on him. 
uh, Zab Judah really dropped him. Okay, he's been hit before is the point that I'm trying to make. All right. So in this fight, we're going to get hit. We're going to get hurt. All right. Now we have to take it like a champ. Mayweather, he's been hit before, but he kept his composure. All right. He kept his composure through the adversity. And that's what we need to do. We need to keep our composure or keep our faith through the adversity that we catch during this fight that we're fighting. OK, it says I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. I have kept the faith through whatever we go through. We keep the faith no matter how shit looks, man. OK, it says henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, the righteous judge shall give me at that day and not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearing. So not to him only, not to Paul only, but to all them that love his appearing to all them that's fighting this good fight of faith. To all them that's enduring hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay. So to sit on that, to sit on that. We finished on that Ezra that we're punished less than our iniquities deserve. Let's see if I had anything else in my notes. Of course, this is the book of Lamentation. Lamentation chapter 3, and I'm going to start at verse 31. Lamentations 3 and 31. For the Lord, and I'm going to jump down. For the Lord will not cast off forever, but though he cause grief, Yet, the sufferings of this present, the chastisement of this present time is not joyous, but grievous, right? It says, but though he caused grief, yet will he have compassion according to the multitude of his mercy. So right now we're grieved, we're going through hell, all right? And brothers know who's, you know, been in this faith and, and gone through different things. It doesn't last forever, all right? We'll go through certain shit, we'll be dealing with it for a period of time, and then the Lord gives us our good days, all right, he gives us, he, he, he tells them demons, okay, back the fuck up off of him, man. Give him a break, okay? Then they come back. But guess what? When they come back, the previous battle that you had has is, is made you stronger for when they do come back. When them trials and tribulations and afflictions and them demons do come back to fuck with you, you stronger in the spirit. So you're ready for whatever they got to throw at you, right? But though the, he caused grief, yet will he have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. For he doeth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men. I'm going to jump down to my point, my, my next point. This is Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 39. Wherefore doeth a living man complain a man for the punishment of his sins. So don't be like these people in the world looking to the heavens. Why me? Why me? This motherfucker asking why me, but they're straight demon. They're straight devil. They done all type of wicked shit. Questioning the Lord why they going through what they going through. We, we are ought not to be like that, man. All right. We're punished less than our iniquities deserve. So, hey, really, in, during our trials and tribulations, the water, Yahweh, Barsham, Yahweh, Shai, Baba Kosha, give me the strength that I need to go through this trial and tribulation. Baba Kosha, Baba Kosha, Baba Kosha, Salakia. Please, please, please forgive me. Wanathan, Leah, or Rabium, Chasadium. And give me uh, much mercy, man. Okay? And then, then. After the prayer, you see whatever you're going through is going to lighten up, lighten up, and eventually you're not even worried about it, okay? It says, um, verse 39, Wherefore doeth a living man complain, a man for the punishment of his sins? Let us search and try our ways and turn again to the Lord. So don't question the Lord. Question your fucking self, man. All right? You, why me? All right? Why not you? Okay? That's really the question. Look what you look at what you've been doing. Look how we've lived. All right, we we've lived before we came into this truth. We lived wicked lives. All right, we we've lived lives uh, contrary to how the Lord has set us set us up to live. We wasn't acknowledging the Lord. It says, "My people forgot me days without number." Okay. In our past lives, we don't know what we did. So whatever we go through, don't ever question the Lord. All right. We deserve that and then some punish less than our iniquities deserve. We're all worthy of the punishment, right? It says, let us lift up our heart with our hands unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in heaven. So pray to the Lord, okay? Depart not, cleave unto him, that thou mayest be increased at thy latter end. Let's go from there to the book of Micah. This is Micah chapter 7 and verse 9. It says, 
I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai because I have sinned against him because I fucked up. Okay? I fucked up. That's why I go through the shit that that's why we go through the shit that we go through. This is what Micah is saying, right? I will bear the indignation, right? The punishment. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall be and I shall behold his righteousness. So he's going to bring me forth to the light, man. He's going to bring he's going to bring us out of whatever we going through. As long as we cleave onto him, as long as we depart now, as long as we set our heart aright and endure uh, 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 and, and make no haste in the time of trouble and endure unto the end, then we will be increased in our latter end. Okay, so let's go from there to the book of Job. Uh, there is a scripture in Job. It says, I will be brought forth as gold. I want to read that before. I think it's 23, but. Yep, this is a uh, Sirach. This is Salakia. Job chapter 23 and verse Nine, on the left hand where he doeth work, but I can, uh, I start at eight. It says, behold, I go forward, but he is not there and backward and I cannot perceive him on the left hand where he doeth work, but I cannot behold him. He hideth himself on the right hand and I cannot see him showing you that the Lord works on both sides, right? Verse 10, here's the point. It says, but he knoweth the way that I take when he have tried me, I shall come forth as gold. When he have tried me, right? When I'm in that fire. I shall come forth as gold. I shall be brought out as gold. So when we go into that fire, when we catch that affliction, we don't want to get melted in that. It, that getting melted in the fire is what? Making haste in a time of trouble. Getting melted in the fire is not cleaving to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai when you return to a lower state. It's pretty much bugging out. All right? You catch a hell and you lose. The scriptures say, if, I, if, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Thy strength is weak. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture in Proverbs. So when we're going through our trials and tribulations, when we're being tried... Right When we're in that furnace of adversity, we're going to be brought out as gold. Meaning what? We're going to get through whatever we got to get through, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So this is the book of uh, Job chapter 13 and verse 15. It says, Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. All right, through whatever we going through, we trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And we, we maintain our ways before him. Let me get another precept. I just want to get an example uh, on that. The Spirit just brought it to mind. So, um, Baba Kusha, bear with me. We were just talking about it in the group meet, so I'm going to just scroll up and find it. Real quick, I don't want Rantaza. Is the book of First Samuel thirteen and seventeen? It says, and he said, "What is the thing that the Lord hath said unto thee? I pray thee, hide it not from me. Yahweh do so to thee, and more also, if thou hide anything from me of all things that he said unto thee." So this is Eli, who was going off, and he was about to be punished. Okay, the, the Lord showed Samuel. What he was about to do to him. So he's asking him. Tell me what the Lord said concerning me. Right. Uh, verse 18. And Samuel told him every wit. And hid nothing from him. And he said. It is the Lord. Let him do what seemeth good. Alright. So he's like. Hey. if if what Let the Lord do what he needs to do. Alright. He was fucking up. Eli was fucking up. The judgment was told on to him. He said. Hey. That's, if that's what the Lord. If that's the Lord's will. Then let him do what seemed to be good. Okay? And he continued in his office. He continued to do what the Lord asked him to do. He didn't just say, all right, fuck it. Then I'm done with this priesthood. All right? He continued in his office and, until that punishment came upon him, man. Roughly paraphrasing the story. Okay? So that was a sign of integrity. Just like Job said, though he slayed me, yet will I trust in him. That's integrity. And maintain my ways before him. Okay? 
So having that said, I don't want Rath Zad, I was uplifting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rechachadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, Rechachadash, the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. The Thamashnak, the Ba'ala, the Kumi, the Shara, get the Ba'anas to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, that rule well. Shalom, Wahabla, Ba'ki, Yashara, Yashara, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, Ma'ki, and brothers, keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent. Stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draweth nigh, redemption is near to when we believe. Shalom.